Scientists have developed a bed net which is treated with a special substance that's almost halved malaria infections. The nets are helping to block malaria carrying mosquitoes that are rapidly evolving the ability to resist insecticides across Africa, putting millions of lives at risk. Well, for more on this, we're joined by Mark Rowland. He's a professor of medical entomology and malaria control at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Good to have you with us, Mark. So uh, the statistics relating to the use of this net seem to be very encouraging. They've reduced the prevalence of malaria in Tanzania significantly. Do you think this is a sustainable and worldwide solution? I do. Um, in the last 10, 20 years, um, the use of bed nets is, has become the cultural norm in uh, Tanzania and many countries across Africa and Asia, including Afghanistan and Pakistan and Asia, and um, all across to West Africa, Benin, Nigeria, Ghana, everywhere. But this uh, um, but issue the, of mosquitoes way, developing sorry. a resistance to insecticides, sorry to interrupt you, Mark, the, this, this issue of mosquitoes developing a resistance to insecticides, I mean, how worrying is that? Could that roll back the gains we've seen in reducing malaria transmissions? I think that's, uh, that's rather alarmist. I, I don't think it's that bad. Um, Resistance has evolved in the mosquito in many countries in Africa and Asia too. But until now, um, the bed nets that we use, which are treated with insecticide, are still largely killing the mosquito. There are, however, uh, problematic areas where malaria has um, increased and the mosquito has become highly resistant to the it, to the uh, to the insecticide and uh, this is a cause c for concern but we have been on the ball and we've been anticipating this for the last 10 years and therefore we've been working with industry and the world health organization to develop new types of bed net to tackle the problem there's also, of course, the issue of resistance to malaria drugs, which I know is going to be um, discussed at a Commonwealth meeting next week. Uh, how far is malaria still a priority for policymakers? And, and is it possible to say that we could eventually eliminate malaria? I think it is possible to eliminate malaria, but it's not in the foreseeable future. It's still high on the agenda of politicians, and it should remain so. Um, because of the forces that we're bringing to bear on the disease, we've been able to reduce the malaria, mor malaria mortality by over 50 percent in the last 10, 15 years. That's a, a significant achievement. Um, but when you do that, you also run the risk of developing resistance to the drugs and to the insecticides, which um, attack the mosquito which transmits the disease. Now most of the reduction in malaria burden has been achieved through the scaling up of mosquito nets and their cultural use across the tropical world. So that's an amazing thing that's happened um, and we've got to preserve that a very effective tool against malaria so we got to develop okay. new insecticides or chemicals for use on the net, which we're doing.